with the help of automation platforms and artificial intelligence of course you can do various social media related automations be it automated posting from blog rss feed or youtube rss feed or any other scheduled post where you can provide the keywords and ai can generate the image and post it on your behalf but sometimes it is crucial that you want to post the image by yourself and this automation which i have built it is all about that so let me take you to the uh, flow that i have built and i will show you step by step how i have built and how you can build here you can see these are my social media accounts now for example this is x.com and these all posts that you see these are all uh, done by the ai agents whether i am uploading anything on the uh, youtube channel so it will automatically generate these and if it is a blog post also it will automatically do that this is x.com same you can see on the facebook account also the blog posts and the uh, videos are automatically also shared here and this is the linkedin profile of course instagram i'm not using much but for the sake of this tutorial i have developed the instagram as well first of all let me run that workflow and i'll show you how it works so the moment i test the workflow it will open a form i will need to provide the user id and password what is happening here that this is the syncbrick social media ai content agent you need to provide the post title it could be anything for example i want to make agentic ai is changing the way we work today and optional keywords will be for example agentic ai or any keywords you want to have you will have it so you can add the call to action a link here otherwise you can leave it default so what we'll do the moment i click this so it will send this information and ai agent will start generating the post and the moment post is generated it will show me review the text so for linkedin this will be the text facebook this will be text and for twitter this will be text of course uh, instagram i have added just now so i can add that text as well so now it says me to upload the image because first of all i want to see you can see here that it has given me the tags also hashtags also related to it and all of that this is customized i'll show you that how it has been done i will upload the image now companies usually do not focus on having the ai generated image they want to have their social media image generated by themselves and then they want to upload it to multiple platforms so what i'll do now i'll just upload this and i will take you further down here right now i'm at the stage of uploading the image and now once i upload the image i will click next it will take that image here you can see it is uploading on x.com now it is uploading on linkedin.com facebook.com and here it is uploading the image and it is creating a container there and here it is now uploading on the instagram and finally it is posted if i go back here you can see here till this of course everything completed it posted on the x it posted on instagram it posted on linkedin and so on so i'll go one by one here let me refresh instagram account here you will see here that this post is published here with of course the caption which was added over there similarly linkedin now and the moment linkedin is refreshed this is also posted on linkedin here and similarly all the hashtags are also created but here i did not add any link agentic ai is revolutionizing workflows explore how this tech is reshaping the enterprise it boosting productivity and enhancing innovation so why it has added that i'll show you that also how we can customize it and then for facebook control f5 this is how it has published here now for x.com i have not added the image i'm just adding the tweets here so uh, of course it is up to you you can upload the image also but here you can see agentic ai is transforming work if i would have added the call to action so it would have shared the link also which could take us to different websites and so on so here you can see like i have added the youtube video so it has automatically brought in here i have added blog posts so it will also bring in there i have already explained you how to create the graph api for the facebook and instagram how to create the api key for the linkedin account how to create the api key for the twitter account and so on so now these are already created let me take you back to the workflow again and i'll show you step by step how i have developed it i'm here on nnn.syncbricks.com 
So the first step here, I created a form so that user can submit the post details here on the form. Authentication is none. I can add the basic authentication and then I can provide the user ID and password so that when this link is shared with anyone, so they will have to first enter the user ID and password. Then only they will be able to access the form. Then they can, of course, start adding the details about the post. Now AI agent is taking care of this, but of course, anyone who has the access, they will be able to publish. So you have to now be very careful about sharing the link because if you share the link with somebody who is not supposed to publish on your social media accounts then it is going to be a problem those who are supposed to share content on the social media they can simply type just few words and it will publish the post automatically on all the social media accounts of course there are various ai agents related to social media accounts that i have made this is one of them this is where you want the image to be published in this form of course this is information of the form and then i added three fields one is the post title another is optional keyword post this was the required field this is optional and then finally i have added the optional link so you can provide the link in the http format and then finally i have added a button with label continue to the image upload once this process is done so it will split the input to generate the image also automatically i can do that as well this is just created so tomorrow i can split it that data for ai agent will come here and data for the image will go some, somewhere else now, if I go down here, so this is the AI agent who is doing its job. Of course, this one you have to customize now. So if I open this, this is related to the syncbricks.com. So I have mentioned here, you are an AI agent for the syncbricks, a leading IT focused platform that delivers the insightful articles, tech news and industry trends in enterprise IT, open source and so on. So I can also mention here tutorials on YouTube and other platforms so this way it will perform according to my requirements and here your goal is to create engaging informative content for the linkedin and so on so i have provided all the details of course i will not read it you can now customize it for your needs and the moment you provide all the company information and so on based on that now you can go ahead and give the input to it the moment input will come here it will aggregate all the inputs of course i have provided here the structured output parse parser so where i have mentioned it how to parse it based on this input schema it is giving me the output and then i'm aggregating that output so that complete output will come in one structured format once ai has generated this of course then i'm going here to upload the image image will be field type and i also have restricted it to accept only jpg format because i don't want a png or other formats to have uh, more size of course you can restrict with the size and all of that in this form actually i have provided the text which has been generated by ai so that the uh, user can review the text the user will move to next step of course i could also add a button here that if user wants to go back and regenerate the content and then finally this is the last step where you have to publish on the social media so i'm going to x.com this is the node which i have added for the twitter or x so if you open this of course you will see a client id and client secret so that is the twitter account and based on that it will create the tweet so you can see here resource will be tweet operation will be create and i just drag the data and i dropped it let me show you flow which was running already so this was already running flow so uh, you would see here that how it has been changed on the x.com so this is aggregated data and in aggregated data these are all the outputs that i received instagram linkedin facebook and twitter you can simply drop this post here you can see if i just remove this in expression i can simply drop this post here so it will generate the post accordingly here you can see uh, this is the text and this is the result from here same way i have uh, gone to linkedin linkedin also you will provide the client id and client secret in your credentials and then you will choose resource as post operation will be create and post as will be organization profile id will be added here and then you will provide the input that what you want to add here okay if i go to ai agent also you can see here this is the linkedin post i have added that and i have also added the call to action also here all right so call to action if i have not added any link so it will only provide share your insights on ai impact of your industry so this is how it has added and then the media category is image so input binary field was image here to so the original place here so it was this one here if i see the schema type was image here so image is added over here as a binary field so you can of course add the title also i have not added title there is no title generated but you could of course do that and then if i talk about facebook 
Same is for Facebook. The image is coming here as a binary image. But if I go back here to the aggregated, for example, so you can see here in aggregate, I have added uh, Facebook and I have added here uh, the call to action. Maybe you can see here, this is call to action and this is Facebook. And down here, you can go to link and link is again call to action. So if there is a link, I have added that link as a call to action for Facebook and uh, image also added. Now what you have to do here, you have to create the page token in Graph API in Facebook developer account. You will create the app and you will give the access of your Facebook page and Instagram account to that particular app. And finally, what you are going to do is that you are going to go to Graph API and you are going to see the uh, API key for your page and you are going to extend its life. Of course, there is other methods also where you can through the workflow automation, it will get the new API key, it will extend the API keys uh, expiry date and it will keep on doing that. So your API key will never expire. But I will not recommend you to do that. I will uh, recommend you to revisit your workflow once in a month and regenerate the API key and uh, look at the workflow that everything should be fine. So then, of course, if it is video, so you will be choosing video upload. So this is for image. That's why I have chosen default. HTTP request will be post here and uh, graph api version i have used 20.0 uh, i checked it with it is working fine and here is your facebook page id that can also be taken from the graph and then edge will be if it is just feed type here feed if it is photos so you will type here photos and then you will be sending the binary and as i mentioned that image is the binary the field is image query parameters will be message and link so you have to make sure that you add this of course if it is a video so it will be different but for the photos this is the way you have to add it for facebook for instagram i did not find how to directly upload the image from the binary to twitter what i have done here i have created an account on img bb so first what i'm doing here i'm uploading this image first to imgbb.com this is the api path here api.imgb.com slash one which is version one upload and then I will be adding the header for expiration 600 which means that it will be expiring after every uh, 600 seconds and then of course i have added the api key and finally authentication i have added none because i have added the api key on the url itself down here you will go you will use these parameters send headers and in headers you will use these fields content type will be multipart slash form data and down here you will go and you will choose form data and this will be your n8 and binary you will choose from the list n8 and binary file and you will be sending that image and input field will also be image so what it will do the moment this flow will be completed for facebook it will come for the instagram it will first of all publish that image and then it will uh, get that image and publish it to img url of uh, instagram account the graph dot facebook.com and version 20 and this is your instagram page id it is using img underscore url so this is the json.data.url which is your url for the image you can see here this is the jpg so i have added that of course it is just uploaded to instagram it is not yet uh, published as a post so caption will be added which has been generated of course by the ai agent and you can see it from that aggregate node and uh, this instagram you can see here this is the caption so it was simply brought in here as a caption uh, and then everything else will remain as it is. Finally, you will be publishing this to Instagram. Now it has uh, got the image. It has uploaded to IMGBB from IMGBB. It has uh, uploaded to Instagram uh, media. So we are doing all of this to get the creation ID. The moment you publish the image URL on the uh, Facebook, so it will generate a creation ID. So this creation ID can be used to publish on the Instagram. So if I double click this, you will see it here that uh, it is the again using Syncbricks page token. And because that page is also linked to Instagram account. So this is the Instagram account here. And then edge will be media publish. And from where that media publish will be coming, it will be coming from creation ID. And finally, here is the caption and caption value is here. So this way it has now published here. So here I'm using the merge node. And with this merge node, I have added the four inputs. Based on these four inputs, it is giving me the output. I could simply even create the URL of this. So you can see here that this is x.com. So this was the x.com ID. And uh, this was the facebook.com. And if I go to facebook.com, this is the post ID, which we dragged it here. And then LinkedIn, here you can see this is URN. If 
finally instagram i have just added the instagram it is syncprix underscore com i don't know why instagram has blocked my syncprix id we i did it multiple times but i'm not sure why instagram is doing all that but anyways this is the complete workflow of course there is a room for improvements as well but if i show you here there are other workflows from youtube to social media accounts similarly this is also doing the same thing youtube so this is my youtube video feed and based on that video feed it is generating the uh, social media posts and then finally it is sending to there i can just show you here this was a recent agentic ai has generated the post related to for example rista firewall what are the twitter instagram and all these posts are created here and based on that it has also published so i could get of course the response uh, by the email that it has been published but i just want to stop here and in case anything goes wrong so i can check it you can see here it has been running if anything is published on the website based on that rss feed it is generating the post and then it is publishing it on facebook of course this was initially created so i can link all of these to other accounts also facebook twitter linkedin and so on now you can have any input through the form or it could be from any rss feed it could be generated by the ai agent it could be generated by your excel sheet where you just enter the keywords so it automatically publishes with the images as well so it generates the images of course the possibilities are limitless copy this particular section also just to publish on x linkedin facebook and uh, instagram of course you can add more also so you can publish on google maps also and you can of course from here you can then generate a next node email marketing using bravo or send in blue or anything i've explained in the next video so this was all about creating the a social media post agentic ai in this scenario we have added the image by ourselves in other scenarios you will see that the ai agent will be generating the image also and then publishing on the social media so let us continue to the next lecture now we'll see what else we can do using workflow automation platforms and ai models